Hello, I'm Terry Richardson. I'm a senior instructor in the Department of Physics and Astronomy at the College of Charleston. And I'm here to show you this little solar projection device that we have and show you how to make one. So this is not a telescope and it's not intended to be looked through. You should never try to look at the sun through here. Uh, you should only use this to project image, an image of the sun. You can do permanent damage to your eye by looking at the sun through this or any other optical device that's not intended for solar viewing directly. So our solar projection device here is for observing the sun and it's especially important this year with an eclipse of the sun coming this August 21st. It's going to um, run from coast to coast starting in Oregon and ending in South Carolina. So our projection device is really a simple crude telephoto lens. This rail is what supports everything. This is the main lens on a focuser. This is the Barlow lens on a standard. And this is the screen. And so to make this, uh, you need some sort of support, uh, a piece of half inch plywood, three and a half inches wide is what we've used here. I've made this entire thing, including the rail, out of cardboard. Strips of cardboard glued several on top of each other for uh, strength and the upright piece is also made out of cardboard. First thing I do as I make this is I cut the rail and I glue the uh, back standard that holds the screen. Uh, I use screws just as an extra measure of, uh, of uh, safety so it won't get knocked off if it's bumped, but uh, glue does just fine. And then I have two other upright pieces. One I mount on a second board and use tongue depressors glued to it to keep it lined up and allow it to slide. The second one that holds the Barlow lens I attach with glue and I've used screws as a measure of safety. But again, you can make both of the, all three of these pieces and even the rail if you want out of cardboard. No need to go buy a, a, a board if you don't have a scrap that you can make use of. And we have set uh, the standard uh, lenses that we like the best, a 500 millimeter focal length lens for the objective, a negative 18 millimeter lens for the, uh, for the uh, Barlow. So we have the screen, we have the standard that's holding the projection lens, then we have the focuser that's uh, made from a flat piece of wood and an upright that's attached to it. And we attach it by just putting it in place and fastening the rubber bands. Once you adjust it and slide the rubber bands, it stays in focus. And you can even mark the focus with a pencil or a piece of tape so you're always close to the right focus. And so that's our solar projection advice, uh, device for safe uh, solar eclipse observing. We made some of these and, and made tripods to go with them or other kinds of mounts and we found that the easiest thing was just to have something to lean it against. I uh, like a cinder block uh, at home where I've been playing with this. A crate is easier to carry on location than a cinder block and you adjust by moving the back back and forth and the height by moving the uh, uh, telescope until you get things lined up. What do we mean by things lined up? This lens will project an image of the sun and you'll see the spot here. You move the uh, system until the spot goes right into that lens and boom, almost like magic, you'll see the image of the sun appear on the screen. And if it's not quite as sharp as you think it should be, you can adjust the focus and then you're off and observing. So this um, piece of my hand right here was 20 bucks, uh, including shipping and, and, and everything. Uh, so if you want to make one like this, uh, the plans, uh, a link to the plans are below. And uh, we'd like to see what you uh, made. So if you get something that works, take a picture of it and uh, tag us on Instagram. And we'd love to see what you come up with. I'm sure you can improve on some of these ideas and uh, we'd love to see your work. And then let's just sit around and all hope for good weather on the 21st of uh, August and on the day of the eclipse.